Hi, it's James from Active, and I just wanted to talk about the recent review of the CAT 1800 electric pressure washer on the very popular YouTube review channel Project Farm. We went up against a bunch of various brands including Sunjo, Karcher, Ryobi, Works, and the Caterpillar 1800 outperformed everybody by a wide margin on every single test. I think the main criticism from the reviewer was really that it was the most expensive unit there at $225 as tested. Now, that is because the real objective of the CAT 1800 is to be compared against the best pressure washers available anywhere. So many of you know and have been following some of the content here is that the secret lies in our patented five piston pump and that five piston pump delivers far more flow than any other retail pump available and we're really benchmarking things like the thousand dollar Kranzler units that are available in the market. And so we would love if there was a test of the CAT 1800 against some of the perceived higher end products from whether it's Karcher or Greenworks, Briggs & Stratton or Sunjo. Um, and we're confident that the 1800 will come out on top again. I want to thank Project Farm for doing such an expert and comprehensive review. They really, they really are quite thorough in what they do. And uh, if you're interested in seeing the whole review, check out the link which we'll link to. So just wanted to talk about that. So it might be helpful to everybody to kind of comment on some of the comments that the reviewer made about the CAT 1800 as well. So I'll start with the weight. If weight is a factor in your purchasing decision, the Sunjo is the lightest at 12 pounds, Stanley and Works 15, and the wind weighs 17 pounds. You can see from the comparison that the CAT weighed substantially more than the other pressure washers. That's because we're using pretty much the biggest universal motor that you can find, and our five piston pump, again, the patented five piston pump, which is partly responsible for the great performance, is also slightly bigger and heavier than the other pumps in the test. And that's why the unit is heavier, in addition to kind of quality housing uh, material that we're using for the CAT 1800. And that's obviously part of what makes the unit more expensive than the smaller units in the test. I think the second part of the test, which is obviously self-explanatory, is we outperform as it relates to pressure and flow, uh, no matter what nozzle and setting that, um, that was used. And again, this is really because of the larger motor that we're using, in addition to the patented five piston pump, which does the best job of balancing high flow with great pressure. And you see that from the results of the test. The next test that he does uh, centers around the foaming performance and rinsing performance on a vehicle. The CAT brand, which delivers the highest water flow rate of all the brands, is the fastest yet at 18 seconds. At only 23 seconds, the cat is five seconds faster than the other brands at washing off the soap. <laughs> Adding up the total time it took to both apply and rinse off the soap, the cat came out on top at 41 seconds, Stanley 49, Karcher 52, Ryobi 54, and Works 56. Because of the higher flow rate, you're able to generate better foam and better coverage on the vehicle, uh, resulting in faster cleaning and faster kind of, you know, job tasks. And of course for rinsing, it makes a huge difference with the amount of flow you're getting from the CAT 1800 resulting in you know a much faster uh, rinse uh, for the vehicle. The next test is a pretty neat test that he does to kind of try to standardize what the cleaning performance is on a very common task which is removing stains and residue from your typical um, you know backyard patio or whatnot and uh, again you'll see that in conjunction with the tip system that we use on the CAT 1800, you get a very, very stable and consistent spray pattern. And because of the higher flow, you, you get better cleaning performance across the entire pattern of the spray. And that really results in what you see in the video, which is we outperform from a cleaning basis every other unit there. And the one thing that he doesn't talk about in the video, but it's certainly true, as in the case with rinsing the car, you'll also be able to clean your patio or whatever surface you're cleaning faster 
because again, the spray is more consistent and more powerful. So if cleaning time and efficiency is important to you, that's another great point for the CAT 1800. For this the is Sun awesome. Joe doesn't I love this. Providing an even distribution of water. It seems like most of the water pressure is being concentrated in the very center. Just like the Sun Joe, the wind has an adjustable spray nozzle and the spray pattern just isn't very consistent. However, the wind definitely seems to be doing a better job than the Sun Joe at removing the buildup. The Ryobi definitely seems to be removing more buildup than the Yard Force, but not as much as some of the other brands. Just like the Ryobi, the Karcher has a very consistent spray pattern, but doesn't seem to be removing as much buildup. Look at that. The Cat brand is definitely doing the best job at removing the buildup from the board. I went ahead and ran a second board past the Cat brand just to make sure the results were consistent and it did a very good job. Last but not least is the gun durability, and I think you know many of the many of the units here pass, but of course we pass as well. No damage to the cat gun. The cat is the best pressure washer, but it's also very expensive at $225. All in all, again, we are the most expensive unit in the test, but as I've mentioned many times before, it really should be compared to much more expensive pressure washers that are available. And I think once you understand the value and performance that we're offering for the price, uh, it really is one of the best units you can buy on the market. If you found this information helpful or would like to continue to hear more about pressure washers and different products in general, make sure you like the video, subscribe, turn on your notifications, and leave some comments below and we'll try to get answers for those comments as soon as we can. Thank you again. Does anybody watch this?